Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Business uh, Wednesday. My name is Julius Afolabi and uh, today I'll be sharing um, with you a subject that um, I know will be important and um, relevant to what every member of this tribe uh, does in one way or the other. And we're looking at how to invite and um, hold and profit from your target audience and most of the time you know how uh, what it is like when you're trying to woo a lady and she's um, expectant that you are going to say something and then all of a sudden you begin to stray away from the subject that she's expecting what happens it could be very disappointing while there are many people seeking attention today uh there are also quite a number of people who get the attention but can't uh, hold uh, this attention and convert it into a meaningful uh a meaningful conversation they cannot convert attention into a meaningful conversation and uh, when we say target audience uh we are not um, it's not something that is um, so strange. It's, it's a commonplace in the business, in business language or business parlance or in the corporate environment. Your employees could be your target audience. Um, your the members of your family could be your your target audience. Every time you will have to face somebody to get the attention, invite the attention of somebody to convert that attention into a meaningful conversation. That is a a target audience is called traction management actually traction management is that capacity to be able to invite attention and convert that attention into a meaningful conversation that is invite a buying commitment from that discussion so a target audience is simply a group that you intend to serve by invitation to get a buying commitment that's um, what um, a target audience simply means and uh, you find out that uh, um, if you have to go to how do you convince a board that you deserve promotion how do you prospect both existing and old clients and, and, and customers how do you um, to a large extent secure hold and converts a meaningful conversation how do you profit invite hold and profit from your target audience we have defined what your target audience is your target audience is not um uh, not something that is so elaborate it's as simple as a one-on-one -on -one conversation for that particular moment where you can secure a person's um, attention now can you make that attention a meaningful conversation meaningful in the sense that it's a win-win it adds value to the other person at the same time serves you what your basic need or what you sell uh, your offering gives your offering a buying commitment now there was this um, young man that came uh, for an interview and on that interview panel there are quite a number of us and uh, we have different categories of, of vacancies and the particular uh, position this uh, young man was requesting for his performance out we that particular he was so resourceful and so fit that we were considering him for a higher a higher position he he was he was so complete with facts and figures his fitness to vacancy was just excellent he was we painted a scenario of what the present challenge the current reality of that organization was and he was able to provide practical solutions with facts and figures giving illustrations demanded if you could get a map it was as if it was tailor-made for that the higher consideration so you see he managed he had a skill an income skill called traction management the ability to be able to invite the attention of a person and convert that attention into a meaningful conversation that it, it was having it was adding tremendous value to to what was what was happening that day and i can tell you for sure that he won the day now there are tools and instruments for traction management 
what are these um, tools that you can use for traction management in this particular tribe you would have observed this particular tool these tools i'm about to mention let me mention quite uh, about five of them I have five um, on my list number one is innovation and number two is interest number three is shared value and then number four is content value then number five is rewardability yeah so when we talk about innovation innovation is that the ability to improve on an existing idea of course you would have seen streams of innovation in the leadership tribe from different angles the ability for you to be able to um, get attention serve in a manner that has not been seen before you see traction when we say traction management traction management is a system or a sequence of thinking that helps you propagate your message in a manner that has not been conceived or perceived before so we are seeing leadership, personal leadership in a different dimension in the personal leadership tribe. And that's why you find the growth. And that now we are having influence, we are having impact, the income will come. And the income is graduating from several dimensions. You understand? The visibility is becoming much more obvious. So getting attention is becoming the business of the economy. And with the internet and the digital economy, there is no monopoly of it. So there is actually no monopoly of it now i give you a um, a, a scenario uh, sometimes back as a business development trainee in uh, oweri i served in oweri in in in, in, in market i discovered that um, while we do our errand prospecting go into the marketplace you know prospect new customers i discovered that uh, the norm of introducing our products to the Igbo merchants by my staff was getting a reboot each time you get there you just people are turned off so I sat back to hack what strategy could give me good traction management and how I could secure, hold, and get what a profit from my conversation with these people. So each time I get to the market and I meet the Igbo man, my first my my introduction changed after I got this business psychology of that particular market ecosystem, understanding that particular ecosystem. So I uh, when I get there, I say, ah, good morning, sir. Uh, would you like to expand this business that you do today would you like to have another shop in this environment that would be beautiful for you the next thing i get is yes how so i have been able to get what attention now i bring the totality of the world now i don't say just come and open an account and i'm carrying introduce myself i'm so so person i'm from so so place i want you to come and open an account mm. just said what do you think would happen if you are able to separate 10, 20,000 every month or every, I mean, every bi-weekly, I could come pick it up for you and then update you on everything that you need to do. I'll make it stress-free for you. I'll bring banking to you and then you're securing, you're accumulating some funds that you can use to expand your wares. It's difficult to see when you have cash around you. What I observe is that they begin to nod their head and at the end of the conversation, they say, okay, what do I need to do? You need to get two passports. It's not hard. Sometimes you, today you can take passports with your with your phone. That makes it a lot easier. You understand? And you can complete the process within in split seconds and there was more results for the team. So that was about what? Innovation. That was about interest. That was about it's only rewardability that is not there. Shared value. There's something I'm giving to him. There's something I expect to get from him as well. So it was a win-win kind of a thing. Then the next thing I, I like to expand on is the the content value. What is actually what when we say content value? What exactly do I mean when I say content value? Content value. By content value, I simply uh, want uh, is that method, that strategy of getting the highest value to the customer in the least time possible what you are saying is going directly to address the specific quest and painful quest of that particular customer at that particular company and that's what brought about the the idea of audiovisuals and that's why you find out that in social media today you find you have pictures and you find audiovisuals audiovisual with audiovisuals the brain stores images better than words but with the combination of the word and image there is a better word retention of conversation so that retention of conversation increasingly i mean 
it improves perception of value and makes conversion easy so you see so you see content value is that uncommon skill that is tenaciously developed and deployed in a manner that has not been done before i can tell you for for free that in the last 10 years i've been learning the art of business writing writing communicating corporate and business value in a manner that simplifies process compatible to the peculiarity of what what kind of business or profession that you are engaged in making meaning available to you in a way that increases the value and the worth of what you do and that's why i am a value improvement strategist so that gives me traction viability when i say traction viability what do i mean that is delivering the highest value in the least amount of time that's traction viability so there's this captivating i mean audiovisual you are going to do like this video i'm doing there's a way it resonates completely with a particular person a member of this tribe a particular person in a manner that drives the person to taking instant action that will correct certain or improve enhance their business position so tomorrow by the time you get in front of the customer you have this at the back of your mind and you find out that what converting that particular customer for income for the purposes of income or graduating your business performance becomes easier than it is it has always been so today we find out that with the the that income skill of traction management where you are able to address your target audience with the tools of interest innovation rewardability shared value and then content value you find out that you make a kill each time you stand before your potential and existing customers so i believe that you have learned one or two things from this uh, video and i'd like to get what your comments are and uh, what you feel about this particular video i'd like you to share it make your comments and then i'll say thank you very much it's been a wonderful time my name remains julius afolabi